My name is Jason Hill, and I'm a lead character artist at a video game studio called Turtle Rock Studios. When I got into making games, I wanted to make the main characters. I wanted to make the characters that people loved. Like I looked up to like Solid Snake and things like that. And through these weird series of circumstances, uh, I made a couple characters that ended up being in one of the biggest games ever. Uh, and some people do love those characters. In a way, like I achieved a dream, but it didn't feel at all like I expected it to be. We didn't take ourselves too seriously. And I really came away understanding the collaboration that takes place in a game studio or in a professional studio that can really elevate the experience for people in a way that's hard to do on your own. Part of what I hope to do when I teach other people how to do any of this sort of art that I do that they're interested in is I try to demystify things as much as possible. I try to take things off, down off a pedestal and let them know that this is like not serious, you know, that we're just playing around. I like to show people in simple ways how to get through things and that it's not a big deal and hopefully encourage them to, to do that on their own so that they can just have fun and do what they want to do uh, rather than, yeah, be overwhelmed and just try to remove as much of the negativity that we can kind of put on this process ourselves by teaching them things and sharing things that I have from my own experience, hopefully. My earliest memory of ZBrush was I was in college. I was at an art institute for game art and Gears of War came out. I just remember everyone's looking at the art, the crazy 3D models that they did for this Gears of War game. And then later I got that book. Um, there's a character modeling book that shows those high poly models. And they were sharing some info online and that's where I saw ZBrush. They talked about like sculpting this monster head for like three days. And so I'd never heard anything like that before. Uh, and it was obviously uh, just really invigorating. And it felt like this is obviously the future. This is crazy. It was the craziest game that anyone had ever seen. And I remember going from classroom to classroom and retrospect it's pretty cringe that I did that. Like teachers were just trying to teach their class. And I just would poke my head into classrooms and ask if anybody knew anything about ZBrush. And I was just so excited to use it and try to learn it. And I remember like staying up all night when an update came out to try to get ahead. So there was like a fun, friendly competition between me and some other artists at the college uh, where we were trying to learn this new program. And yeah, it was exciting times. What ZBrush does for my specific workflow, I think is just enable me to go really, really high and do little details, which I like to do, and then go really, really low and move things around and make big changes and pose the character and stuff like that. So I, I'm someone that moves back and forth in divisions and ZBrush is really fast. After a while it becomes muscle memory and the program doesn't get in the way when you're doing the actual sculpting. And that for me, I think is the enjoyable part. Using ZBrush for iPad the first time was a trip. And so just having ZBrush on an iPad and like moving a 3D model around, um, the novelty didn't wear off for a while. Uh, so that was fun. And uh, it was still fun, like seeing the same matte caps and being able to like sculpt, you know, it feels pretty much the same. The future for ZBrush for iPad stuff, I think is so bright. Like I'm in, in general, I think, the idea of being able to do professional desktop level work on a little device anywhere, you know, going to a park or being on a plane or something, being in your bed, I think is, is just a fun idea. Uh, but then the idea of enabling like professional level work, not only for someone like me that can travel, but to me, I think the most exciting thing is getting to a future where someone who's interested in this sort of thing that doesn't even have a desktop or ha doesn't have experience 3d modeling or sculpting could play around and make some stuff on an ipad and and get some of that joy and fun that i get from doing this kind of art that i do that's what's i think the most exciting part of it and so what i hope is that the zbrush for ipad can be can enable way more people to try uh, this sort of thing and it might lead to people getting more serious if they want to be and graduate to different things uh, and learn different techniques so uh, overall I just I think it's great that there could be a lot more people that get to experience and have some of the same joy that I get out of doing this stuff.